Hello everyone, I'm Dae Jung Jin from Jungang University. I will explain perturbation-based best arm identification for efficient test planning with Monte Carlo research. Let's look at the robot and the bottles placed on the shelf in the picture. The task assigned to the robot is to pick up the red bottle surrounded by green bottles and put it into the gray bin. However, this task is very complex and long horizon for the robot. Our research goal is to provide a solution for enabling the robot to perform tasks efficiently. To achieve the goal, it can obtain all possible actions in the current state. To find the optimal sequence of actions, we need to select the action that yields the highest reward among these actions. This method is called best arm identification and is commonly called SPAI. The UCB formula is a popular method that combines the expected reals and confidence. We can choose an action that makes the UCB the maximum. Applying this to MCTS, it becomes the upper confidence bound for three, the so-called UCT method. These UCB-based methods have a trade-off between exploration and exploitation. For example, if the algorithm is heavily influenced by confidence, it will tend to explore more, which slows down the convergence speed to the optimal solution. On the other hand, if the algorithm focuses too much on expected reals, it will tend to explore more which can lead to insufficient optimization of the subtree. We address these issues by adding random perturbation. We will show the difference between the UCB-based method and our proposed perturbation-based method. Let's assume that we have the same current state and optimal action. Both methods search the subtree to find the solution. UCB-based method expresses more as confidence value decreases over time, while the perturbation-based method balances the search through randomness. As the same load is visited more often, its color becomes darker. As the influence of confidence increases, the UCB-based method also explores subtrees of other actions, and perturbation-based methods with more subtrees closer to optimal. Eventually, both methods found the optimal solution and maximum iterations. Interestingly, the perturbation-based method shows that subtrees with optimal solutions are darker in color. This means finding the best solution faster. From now on, I'd like to explain PBAI or perturbation-based method. We need to estimate the optimal Q star and V star using a Monte Carlo simulation. As the simulation proceeds, we can obtain R hat. R hat is the average of the sum of reals obtained when action is taken in the current state. From this R hat and the primary optimality equation, Q hat and V hat can be completed. If the state value of free hat is insufficiently optimized, the action value Q hat will be underestimated. To solve this problem, we first compute the upper and lower bounds of the value estimation. The beta is the confidence interval by perturbation. The beta equation consists of the sum of positive random perturbation term and the tolerance of estimation error at the next step. Next, Compute the length of the confidence interval B. We find the action B that makes the interval the smallest and the action U that makes the upper bound the largest. The action B may be the optimal action with high probability and the action U means the best possible action except for small B. Our method selects the action which has the maximum confidence bounds among action B and U. We will show you the result video and experimental research. This is the benchmark one. There are six boxes on the table. The goal is to stack boxes in 
alphabetical order on the tray. Benchmark 1 was tested in a real environment. PBAI performs the most efficiently and quickly. Even though the initial state is different, we can also see that our method is the best. In benchmark 2, the goal is to pick up a red barrel and put it into the gray. Benchmark 2 also showed that our algorithm performed best. Finally, this is the result of the real graph in each benchmark and the success rate in benchmark 1. The proposed PBAI neural are performance other task planning methods. Thank you for listening to my presentation.